Good day. Today I'm going to show you how to find the equations of the parabola. So there are four ways to find the equations of the parabola. Three from grade 11, one more from grade 12. So the first one is when there is one unknown, which is the easiest. The second one is when there are two unknowns. The third one is when there are three unknowns, and this one is very important. And then the last one is the derivative. This is the grade 12 part. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to deal with the first three. And then I'm going to put the link of the, the fourth one in the description below. And you'll also find it at the end of the video. At the end of the video, you'll be given the link to the fourth one. So in this particular video, I deal with this particular video, I'm going to deal with the first three. And then the fourth one is going to be dealt with in another video, which is going to be in the link of the description below or at, and at the end of the video as well. So. First, we're going to start with this one. Three unknowns. So, here is the situation where there are three unknowns. Three unknowns meaning that A, B, and C, all of them are not known. So, whenever there are three unknowns, whether in grade 11 or in grade 12, there's always going to be two situations. It's either you're going to use the x-intercept form or the turning point form. So, what are the x-intercept form and the turning point form? So, first of all, you should know this. This is called the standard form. So you should know all these three. You should know this the standard form, the one that we usually know, and then you should know the turning point form, which is y is equal to a into x minus p all squared plus q. And then you should also know the x-intercept form, which is y is equal to a into x minus x1 into x minus x2. So you should know all these forms. So whenever there are three unknowns, you are always going to use either this form or this form. So whenever there are th three unknowns, it's either going to be this form or this form. So how do you know which one you should use? It's according to the situations that you are given. If you are given the x-intercepts in the graph, then you know it's the x-intercept form. If you are given the turning point, then you know it's going to be the turning point form. So what we need is either the x-intercept and an extra point, or the turning point and an extra point. All right, let's begin. So since we're given x-intercept, we know we have to use the x-intercept form. So the x-intercept form is y is equals to a into x minus x1 into x minus x2. So this is the x-intercept form. So in place of x1 and x2, you have to substitute your x-intercept. So then it's going to be y is equals to a into x. So now since this is minus 2, because of the other minus, it's going to end up being a plus. And then we're going to have x and then minus 3. So then that is 3. Just before I continue, if you want to be tutored whether it is online or physically, whether it is the situation where you're struggling in math, or whether it is the situation where you're good in math but want perfection, take a screenshot or save these details. Whether you're studying Cambridge, which is the UK curriculum, or whether you're studying NSC, which is the South African curriculum, or IEP, or United Courses, which start from N1 to N6, or any curriculum you're doing, no matter which country you're at, we offer tutorials. We've got lessons and practice sessions five days a week, we also give you tests once a week so that we can check your improvements. So, then from here, the first step is to substitute your x-intercepts, which we did here. Then the next step is to substitute your extra point. So this x and this x are the same. That's why it's not called x1 and x2. They're just the same values. So, when we substitute our extra point, we have to substitute 1 in place of both of them. So our y is 12, meaning that we're going to say 12 is equal to a, and then we're going to say 1 plus 2, and then 1 minus 3. So we substitute 1 in place of both of them. So our first goal is to find a. Once we find a, it's going to be easy to find b and c. So hence, we need to substitute our extra point and solve for a. So then this is going to be 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, and this is going to be minus 2, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. And then 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, so minus 6 times a is minus 6a. It's better to write numbers before letters, so minus 6a. And we can divide both sides, so when you divide both sides by 6, minus 6, I mean, you'll get a is equal to minus 2. So we have found a. 
So since we find A, we have to go back to this step because we have to we have to go back to the, this step in such a way that only x and y will not be known then it's going to help us find b and c so we found a after finding a we just have to come back to this step and substitute so let me just do that so our a is minus two that we know so we know that our a is minus two so in this case we're going to substitute so we're just going to say y is equals to minus two x plus 2 and x minus 3 so our goal is that only x and y should not be known so how are we going to find b and c we just have to multiply this stuff one to multiply this stuff you will have all the values so therefore we're going to have y is equals to minus 2 then when we multiply these things might be x squared minus x minus 6 i'm just going straight to the point you can take the long cut all right so when we multiply this stuff, it's going to be minus 2x squared plus 2x, and this is going to be plus 12. And there we have it. We have found the equation of the parabola. So the equation can come out in a way they can say show that a is 2, b is, uh, they can say show that a is negative 2, b is 2, and c is 12. Or they can say find the values of a, b, and c. Or they can say find the equation of the graph. Or they can actually say show that the graph can be written as this all those uh, four types of questions are just the same question you solve them the same way if you're given x-intercept you use the x-intercept form if you are given turning point you use the turning point form all right so now here is another situation so in this case they say it showed that the equation of the graph can be written as that. So the most, uh, most mistakes that people do is when they say show that, what they try to do is to substitute the x value and prove that the y value is 1. But that's not what they're talking about. When they say show that the equation can be written in this form and it's worth 5 marks, so you have to show them the whole procedure. So we're going to have to find it as though it was not given at all. So now what we're going to do is we have to check in the graph are we given the x-intercept or the turning point so in this case we are given the turning point so we are given the turning point and an extra point so since we're given the turning point we know we have to use the turning point form so the turning point form is y is equals to a into x minus p all squared plus q and then from here so we're given the x, the, the turning point, so we use the turning point form. So now in place of p and q, p and q are the x and y values of the turning point. So therefore it's gonna become y is equals to a into x, and then this is gonna be minus two squared plus one. So in place of p and q, we substitute uh, two and one. So because this is negative, it's gonna end up becoming minus two. So after we're done substituting the turning point, just like we did with the x-intercept, x-intercept form, we substitute our x-intercept first, then we substitute our extra point. So same thing with turning point form. We substitute our turning point first, then we substitute our extra point. So our extra point is, is 1 is to 3, so meaning the y value is 1, and the x value is, the y value is 3, and the x value is 1. So we have to substitute our turning points to find A also, just like in the x-intercept form. So then this is going to be 1 minus 2 is minus 1, all squared is 1, times A is A. So the mistakes that students do is to try and add this. They can't add because this is joined with A. You cannot add this two. So you cannot add them. So minus, uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. When you square it, it is 1, times A is still A. Then we're going to have plus 1. Then we have to take this one to the other side. So then it's going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we found our A. Then once we find our A, we have to go back to this step. We have to make sure that only X and Y is not known. So then what we're going to do is we just want to substitute that. So it's going to be 2 and then X minus 2 all squared plus 1. And then from there, we're going to uh, now have to expand it. When we expand it, we're going to end up finding all the values. So therefore, it's going to be X squared minus 4x plus 4 i'm just going straight to the point you can double the brackets and multiply i'm just going straight to the point so then we can distribute that so then this is gonna be 2x squared minus 8x minus okay plus 8 and then this is gonna be plus 2 so therefore we're gonna have okay uh just the mistake that i made there it's not 2 it was always 1 
and that's been one so and then from there this is gonna be y is equals to 2x squared minus 8x 8 plus 1 is 9 and then we found it so we showed them that the equation can be written in the form of what they've been given what we've been given there so we're done with the first part when the first part is three unknowns right so now we're gonna deal with two unknowns and one unknown those ones will be easy so whenever you've got three unknowns remember it's always gonna be either the x intercept form or the turning point form here is another situation so we dealt with the first situation where there are three unknowns so now in this case there are two unknowns so when there are two unknowns there have to be two points that are given on the graph then we have to substitute two points then we'll have simultaneous equations so whenever there are three unknowns is either the x intercept form or the turning point form if there are two unknowns then there should be two points in the graph so in this case, we're going to substitute any of the points first. So we can substitute, let me just substitute uh, this one first. So then we're going to have our y value will be negative 1. And then we're going to have a, our x value is going to be 1. So it's going to be a into 1 squared plus b into 1 minus 3. So let me just simplify this equation. So then 1 squared is 1 times a is just a. 1 times b is just b, then we're going to have minus 3. So let me just take this to the other side and let me just say, so it's going to end up being, uh, if I take it, it's going to be minus, uh, minus 1 plus 2, uh, minus 1 plus 3, which is going to be 2. So a plus b will be equal to 2. So this is going to be my first equation. Then I'm going to substitute another point so that I can create another equation. So then uh, my y value will, in this case will be minus 9. And then my x value is going to be minus 1 and then be into minus 1 minus 3. So I'm just substituting. So first I substituted this, I substituted this point into this to create this equation. Then I'm substituting this point into this to create the second equation. So I can choose to simplify it. I can choose not to simplify it. Let me just simplify it. So then this is going to be minus 1 squared is 1 times a is still a. So it's going to be... Uh, a then this is gonna be minus b minus 3 then let me just simplify it so if I take that to the other side it's gonna be minus 9 plus 3 which is minus 6 so we've got our second equation now we can solve simultaneously so I'm gonna use the substitution method we can even use the elimination method in this case the elimination method is the shortest so in this case, I'm going to use substitution method. So I'm going to manipulate one of the equations to form the third equation. So then I'm going to make my A the subject row formula. So then it means I'm going to say 6 plus B is equal to A. This is going to be my third equation. Then I'm going to substitute. I'm going to substitute my third equation into my first equation. So I'm going to substitute this one into the unmanipulated one. So this one I manipulated it, so I cannot substitute this into this. I have to substitute into the first one. So in this, everywhere I see A, I just have to put minus 6 plus B. So therefore, it's going to be 2 is equals to minus 6 plus B. So in place of A, I just put minus 6 plus B. And then this is going to be minus 6 plus B plus B. Therefore, it's going to be... 2 is equal to minus 6 plus 2b and then it's gonna be if I take 6 to the other side it's gonna be 2 plus 6 which is 8 8 is equal to 2b in this case if if I divide both sides it means that our b is gonna be equals to 4 so we found our b so now we can find our a so let's find our a so we can find our a by substituting into any one of the three equations but the easiest one to find is to substitute is this one so since b is 4 it means i'm going to substitute so therefore we're going to have minus 6 plus 4 so i can substitute into any one of these three equations so minus 6 plus 4 is equals to a so therefore a is equals to minus 2 so there we have it we have found a and we have found b so therefore a is minus 2 and b is um, four. So then we have answered that question. All right, here is the final situation. So the final situation is where we're given one unknown. So when we've got one unknown, either A or B, we just have to substitute one point and we find it. So 
in this case we're given y is to 12 so meaning that the y value is 12 then x is 1 then plus 8 into 1 plus 2 so therefore it means that it's going to be 1 squared which is 1 times a is a and then this is going to be 8 then this is going to be 2 and 8 plus 2 is 10 so therefore we're going to have 12 is equal to a plus 10 so we take that to the other side then we have 12 minus 10 is equal to a and therefore we've got a is equals to 2 so that is it so what you have to remember is that when there is one unknown you substitute a point when there are two unknowns you substitute two points when there are three unknowns is either the x-intercept form or the turning point form then you are good you know how to find the equation of the parabola the fourth form of, of it which is finding it using the derivative is in the other video which is just going to be at the end of this video and also in the link of the description below so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel and if any details that i gave you during uh, the marketing part was is not working uh, please notify me so if the contacts that i gave you is not working please notify me